What is up guys, we are back with another reaction video. This time we are checking out a privileged black woman tells white students to get out. That just sounds a bit fishy, you know what I mean? And if you know anything about me, I'm against racism or anything like that. I'm a man who wants equality for all. Is that too much to ask for? It seems so in today's society, but hey, why don't we just jump into this? Maybe I'm over exaggerating, I don't know. All right, so let's just jump into this. Let's do it. Hey, if y'all didn't know, this is the MSC and frankly, there's just too many white people in here and this is a space for people of color so just be really cognizant of the space that you're taking up because it does make some of us pocs uncomfortable when we see too many white people in here it's only been open for four days and frankly there's the whole universe hold the ball, hold the ball, hold the, ball, hold the, ball. the freaking audacity the audacity on this chick are you kidding me if i was sitting there there's not a chance in heck i'm moving at all that is one of the most racist statements i've ever seen and that's at a freaking college campus are you flipping kidding me are you kidding me let's just imagine imagine the roles are reversed okay let's imagine a white person says this about an african-american okay yeah this is a white space no african-americans allowed yep 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 say that Say that, I dare you. You would be on the news in a millisecond. You would be everywhere. You would be a racist. And, well, that's because you are a racist. Simple as that. That's just a racist, blatant statement from someone that's clearly uneducated because no one with a brain cell would say this. Oh my gosh. And there's very few spaces for us. So keep that in mind. <sighs> Thank you. People clap. People clap. This is a college, too. It's not going to be this coddling of white tears and what that looks like. We're not going to discuss, oh, maybe some of us have worked it out. No, you're always going to be racist, actually. All white Today, people are racist. I want to talk to you more to about know. the political nature of time. For if time had a race, it would be white. White people own time. Time out. That time out. Time out. To time out. You're, they're spewing too much nonsense. I can't even keep up with this. I can't. I can't keep up with these people. If all white people are racist, where are you coming up with the statistics? Where, where, where? No, these people are just straight up brain dead. Brain dead. To not be human, and that's what y'all are taught to do, to be demons. So in this demons. particular way, I was taught, white people I was are all racist. To treat everyone equal. I believe that's what um, Mr. Morton Luther King Jr. was saying too. A colorless society. What you're doing now is just demonizing a certain group of individuals. And I'm telling you right now, if you just demonize people, eventually they're going to be like, you know what? I'm sick of this. You know what I mean? Color should not be an issue. Why is this taught in schools? Why is this taught in schools? This isn't even like a Republican Democrat thing. This is a human thing. Treat everyone with respect. Oh Hashtag cancel white people. At one point, Zhang tweeted a crude graph claiming that as whiteness increased, so did awful. Later, she said that white people <laughs> smell like dogs. Here's another one. Quote, white people have stopped breeding. You'll all go extinct this soon. Has a that blue was my check plan mark on all along. Boy, you're white. It, are you assuming that? Are no, you assuming my you race? Are, though. are you going to fix it by <laughs> breaking the laws? Because we need to get rid of all y'all. <laughs> but we don't fix it by breaking right, the laws. And don't. newsflash, I was born here too. I'm not leaving. You're recording me like I'm the criminal here. Because, because you stole, stole my, property. my property. That is literally a crime. This land. Your ancestors stole this land. That Two thirds of all white guys voted oh for Trump. Oh my gosh. That means anytime you see three Heaven white guys walking at you down the street toward you. Two of them voted for Trump. You need to move over to the other sidewalk because these are not good people yeah. that are walking towards you. Yeah, anyone who votes for Trump is an evil Student activists demand that all white Anyone who voted for Trump is an evil person. Is, is that what I'm hearing from this dope? Oh my gosh. No, not at all. I'm not even trying to get into that because this is just straight delusion of people speaking. We'll leave campus or else. Brett Weinstein refused. He's a professor at Evergreen State and he called the race-based demand, quote, a show of force and an act of oppression. This is not about you. I'm talking we are not about, this is all about him. No, on terms really. of white privilege. This is not a discussion. You have lost that one. That's what I'm telling you. Where do you stand? There's no middle ground. It's either them or us, and it's us. We have to stand with the people. And you are representing right now the black community. Don't ask where they are. You are here. You are the community. I am the If you're not with these radicalized people, if you're not part of this 0.01% minority, you're an evil human being. Is that, is that so? Is that so? I, I, there's nowhere in between? There's no middle ground? Okay. 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 I, I get what you're saying now. We're Makes sense. Community. Makes sense. So stand with us. Don't be divisive. Because you know what's what you wrong with a people bit? today? Like the dumbest. Isn't that race, right? America has tried to sell blacks 
uh, I think, to save itself. But th to sell blacks on this idea, you're a victim. That's your authenticity. The most authentic thing about you as a black person is that you come from a victimized and entitled group. That's what people believe nowadays. You, that's the kiss of death. Thank you. You, you, Thank you, you. believe that? You're, you're, you're going nowhere. You're not going to learn anything. You're stopped in your tracks. Uh, and, you know, you can't do a worse thing to, to someone than to give them, impose on them that kind of identity, as, as white Americans often do, as a way of then winning back moral authority for themselves. Uh, and, and it's a selfish thing to do. It's pernicious. The slave master didn't do that. He demanded labor. He may beat you, but he didn't take your soul. He didn't tell you who you were as a human being. Uh, but, but today, liberalism does that. And I can't have you come and speak, Mr. Steele. You can't speak to my class. I'm sorry. I really like what you say. But you can't because you are, you know, you, you're telling these people. If you believe you are a victim, then you, you already lost the game. You already lost the game. You are not going to accomplish anything of value in this life. I'm telling you right now. If you think are things holding you back based on skin color or whatever it may be, that's just straight up delusional and it's not true. Martin Luther King Jr., Barack Obama, like we've had such prominent people in history reach the highest of highs and didn't hold them back. So why is it holding you back? It's just a built in excuse that people have nowadays because they don't want to put in the work. So they just throw in the boogeyman and all it does is demonize but certain people. victims and, and uh, I'm sorry. I think that many white people in America today are upset and tired of being judged Thank you. unrelentingly Thank you. as bigots. <laughs> Thank you. It's as though white, white synonymous with bigot, that, that equals, I mean, they're, they're, they're like one and the same. People are brainwashed. Nobody likes to live under an accusation. It's no human being likes that. They're gonna, there's going to be some reaction. Um, and as soon as there's reaction, whites are double bound because then they say, ah, we knew you were racist all along and now you're, you're just proving it all over again and blah, blah, blah. And so whites then feel completely s stifled and, and stop. That's a real frustration. I don't like that. Thank you. Imagine being so woke that you fight racism with racism and believe you're doing the right thing. Can you not see the hypocrisy? Can you not see the lies within what you say? People nowadays are being led down a very dangerous road and they don't have the wherewithal to think for themselves and say, whoa, whoa hold on a second. What I'm doing here is kind of racist. I should stop. Okay, we should stop demonizing other people and treat them like human beings because that's what we are at the end of the day. That's, a, that's it. That's it. Okay, stop. Can you imagine being so delusional that you put a limit on your potential based on your skin color? How weak-willed are you? If you believe you can get something done, you get it done. It doesn't matter what goes in your way. You just have that determination that nothing is going to stop you. And sure, life is not fair. I'm not here to say everything's sunshine and rainbows. No, that is just not the case. What I'm saying is there will be things that get in your way. But if you have a built-in excuse saying like racism is holding me back doing all this stuff, you're gonna be a loser, I'm telling you right now. Cause I just want a society where we all embrace our differences and we don't point and victimize and do all this nasty stuff because that's just wrong. You know in your heart what's the right thing to do and that's to love each other and spread a good message and believe anything is possible if you put your mind to it. That is not what is being taught in schools nowadays. People are being taught to be a victim. Well, I'm telling you right now, it's easier to control victims. They don't want free thinkers in society, people who think for themselves. Now, what I'm telling you right now is to live a life with integrity and stand up for what you believe in. It doesn't matter how many people are against you. If I believe something is right in my heart, I will stand up against the entire world. It does not matter how many people are against me. And I think that's the right mentality to have, especially in today's woke society. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, make sure to smash that like, comment, subscribe. Truly does mean the world to me. Truly does. If there's anything you want me to react to next, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to do it. Anyways, have a great day, everybody. Take it easy.